Hey you guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be real honest with you. As an entrepreneur, sometimes there's gonna be days where you literally just don't have the time to cook a meal. So what the heck do you do when you're short on time and you still wanna be in track with your weight loss goals? And that's exactly why in this video, I'm gonna share my top meal prep hacks for you, especially when you're short on time. So if you're ready to stay on track with your weight loss goals, even if you're busy, Watch till the end of this video. So for the first hack, we're gonna go over to the kitchen. So hack number one is you wanna stop cooking recipe. Recipes are time consuming. They usually have like 10 plus ingredients. They have all these instructions and details and you're probably not gonna use those ingredients ever again if you're using like a complicated recipe. So drop the recipe and do this instead. Focus only on preparing a protein, veggie, and healthy fat for every single meal. So we're not gonna make a whole recipe, but when you make those separate components in your meal prep, you can put them all together in a meal later on the day of and it makes it so much simpler. You don't have to do anything complicated. It just keeps it super simple and you could batch cook everything all at once. So for example, this is what I like to do every single week. So on Sundays and Wednesdays, I'll prepare my protein ahead of time in this Instant Pot. So that takes care of my protein. And then for my veggies, I just get frozen veggies from Costco that I usually saute on the day of, so I don't necessarily need to cook it ahead of time. It gets soggy, so I just get frozen vegetables I microwave or saute on the day of. And then for my fats, I'll make almonds roasted in the oven. Over here, this very oven. I'll make almonds in a big batch so that I can have them during the week. So for you, you want to think of what are some proteins you could cook that are really easy for you to prepare ahead of time, which can be cooked in the Instant Pot. I love to use an Instant Pot because it cooks proteins really quickly, especially chicken breasts. I also cook chicken breasts a lot. It could cook frozen chicken breasts in 45 minutes to an hour. It's super quick. You can even cook pork or ground beef in an Instant Pot. Secondly, you wanna think of your veggies. How do you want to make your veggies ahead of time? You can either get salad mix that's already pre-washed, pre-cut and everything for you. You could buy veggie trays. You could also do what I do and get frozen vegetables. I get them from Costco and just microwave them or saute them on a pan when you're ready to eat. And finally, think of what you wanna do for your fat. So just like me, do you want to roast some raw nuts in the oven ahead of time? Um, by the way, I like to roast my own almonds at home because if you get them from the grocery store, a lot of them have inflammatory vegetable oils that I don't recommend. So stay clear from nuts in the grocery store that have canola oil or soybean oil. Those are very inflammatory vegetable oils. Or maybe you could even get avocado from the grocery store and just slice open the avocado when it's ready to eat and you could have that as your fat. All right, you guys, my second hack for you when it comes to easy meal prep hacks is to not cook. So sometimes cooking is literally the last thing we wanna do, especially if we got a lot on our plate. So I have a list of foods that I like to eat when I'm really busy and on the go that I don't have to cook. So some of my favorite meals that I don't have to cook are a lot of them you could get from the grocery store and my number one meal is rotisserie chicken that you could buy from the grocery store that's already pre-cooked. And then you could have that with salad mix that's already in a bag and pre-washed. And you could pair that with avocado. So you already have like a filling chicken salad that you don't even have to cook. The second meal that I don't need to cook is something I call adult Lunchables. And it's one of my favorites personally. So I like to make it a low carb version of it. So if you'd like to have something that's like crackers, I like to get cheese wisps, which are all cheese crackers. So they don't have any carbs in it. So you could get cheese wisps, um, some sort of cheese. There's also moon cheese and stuff that is basically crackers that are cheese. They're not carbs. And you could have that with salami, 
you could have it with some uh, charcuterie and then you could pair that with your favorite cheese I'm kind of a cheese snob I love to have Bella Vitano Merlot, Merlot cheese it's like the most bougiest fanciest cheese to me I just love it and finally you could pair that with low sugar berries like blackberries strawberries and also raspberries Another meal I like to go to that I don't have to cook is chia seed pudding that I make with coconut milk and also with berries. A fourth meal that I don't have to cook which really holds me over for a few hours is hard boiled eggs with almonds. So again, I roast my almonds ahead of time but if you need to, if you're in a pinch, you could buy almonds from the store. I get the hard boiled eggs with almonds, which I love. Something you could also get in a pinch for a fifth meal that you don't have to cook is celery and carrot sticks that you could eat with chicken salad or tuna salad and you could also have that with avocado on the side if you want something a little bit more filling or some nuts on the side. So those are examples of meals that I love that I don't have to cook and they hold me over and keep me full during a busy day. Okay you guys, now before we go on to meal prep hack number three, I want to share with you a little gift for watching this video. If you're really not sure what foods to prep ahead of time or you're having questions about portion sizes and you want more examples of what food to eat, download my free food food guide which you can get in the description box below by clicking the link and you can get my free food guide to tell you exactly what vegetables I recommend to buy, what proteins I recommend to eat, what fats are a great source of nutrition for you even if you're wanting to lose weight. So make sure you grab that food guide so you know exactly what to eat, how much to eat, and you're not confused about what food to prep. Alright you guys, moving on to the last hack on my best meal prep strategies for when you're short on time. Okay you guys, my third hack which is amazing when you're in a pinch is that you can buy low carb takeout. And I recommend low carb especially if you have a weight loss goal because it can help release water retention, it can help you become a fat burner and all this good stuff. So anyway, these are my favorite restaurants to go to when I want to buy food for delivery or takeout if I really don't want to cook or if I'm short on time. So the restaurants I'm going to list, they might not be available in your area, but just I'm going to give you a hack for if none of those restaurants are in your area, I'm going to give you a quick hack for that at the end of this list. So the first thing I want to say is one of my top picks for fast food that you could get when you're in a pinch that will also help you lose weight is El Pollo Loco. I love that El Pollo Loco has lots of protein, it has chicken, and they also have a lot of salad bowls and they even have a lot of keto low carb options like paleo options which is great for if you want to lose weight. My next favorite stop is Chipotle which is a great Mexican restaurant where you could customize the food bowls that you have. So you could, I love to do a salad bowl that has a lot of meat, whether you wanna do carne asada or if you wanna do chicken. You can even do soy riso if you don't want like meat, but it's a great place to customize your, your options and they already have preset keto paleo bowl, bowls for you. My third favorite restaurant to go to is Cava. That's C-A-V-A. It might not be available in your area, but it's kind of like the Mediterranean Chipotle. So it's also a place where you could order like bowls and you could get it customized. You could order meat with vegetables basically. So are you seeing a trend here? Like I like to go to fast food places where you could basically buy meat with vegetables and get high quantities of meat, okay? All the places I listed like Chipotle and Cava and El Pollo Loco, you could get a lot of portions of meat so it keeps you full, it keeps you sustained and also you could get it with veggies that also help you to stay full. So that's the common thread here you guys, like you want to choose a takeout place that offers a lot of meat and vegetables for you. So if you don't want fast food, if you're really feeling like you want something else, I also have some other options for you. I love to get Thai food when I want something a little bit more flavorful, maybe a little bit spicier, something that I love to eat. So Thai food has a bunch of protein options 
and it's great for any protein really. Like you could get seafood, they offer a lot of shrimp, they have chicken, they have beef. So you could get a lot of meat there. And also the beauty of a Thai restaurant is that they're very accommodating with substitutions. So every Thai restaurant I've been to, they've been able to replace the rice with vegetables. So you could get a lot of meat and vegetables in Thai restaurants. And finally, my last favorite pick for a takeout restaurant or something you get to go is Mediterranean restaurant. So Mediterranean food, it's also really similar to Thai food, like in the sense that you could get a lot of meat, they offer chicken, they offer beef, they offer lamb. They have so much meat options available. And like I said with the Thai food, they're very accommodating with replacing rice with salad. They offer also great salads, um, like Mediterranean salads that have a lot of healthy fats, like olives, feta cheese. So there's a lot of options there that can keep you full for long periods of time. Okay, you guys, so you've learned my top three meal prep hacks for when you're short on time and you wanna stay on track with your weight loss goals. So when you're waiting for next week's video, you could also check out all the other videos in my channel about sugar cravings, weight loss, and mindset. But be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below and the little bell so you get notifications of when my new video is out. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.